guys, I'm out of one of my favorite places again, and I'm appreciative that you are back to join me. I want to show you a building tip that I think is very important, especially if you're going to be building with green lumber. Now, many people build with green lumber because they just milled the wood. That's me. I tend to cut a tree down, and then I mill it into lumber, and then I start building with it. I don't have time to kiln dry it, nor do I have a kiln to dry it in. Let's have a look at uh, this tip today. So what it is, it's when you secure wood, you got to make sure you're only securing it in one place so that wood has a chance to expand and contract. If you don't, what's going to happen is you're going to get wood that cracks and splits. Here's what I'm talking about. All right, so I built this deck and this deck is basically a walkway and you guys have seen this before, a walkway that takes you out to the porch there. When I secured these boards down, they were green, and I think this is inch and a quarter lumber by five inches wide. This is green. If I were to secure it, just like I would secure a typically dried deck board, I would probably put two screws, one here and one here. Move down to the next, uh, next floor joist, one here, one here. That's what I would typically do. However, for this board, you're looking and saying, well, you only have one in the center, every joist. And that's true. And the reason being is this wood here still has to dry because I installed it green. If I were to put a screw there and a screw there, when this wood tries to dry, it's going to want to shrink. When it tries to shrink and it can't pull from both sides because the screws, it's going to actually split the wood. You're going to have cracks everywhere and it's going to look absolutely horrendous. So when you're securing green wood, whether it's siding or corner pieces or deck pieces, make sure you put one screw so that this wood can move and not have any cracking. This will save you a lot of headache in the future, especially if you're the type of person who's building with green lumber. Now what's going to happen as well is you're going to get some cupping that takes place on those deck boards. That's okay. That's just telling you that board's drying out. It may twist a little bit. It may cup a little bit. It's going to move. So give it one position to secure it on each joist. And then once this is fully dried, whether you wait a year or two, you come on back and then you put down the typical screwing of one or two on each joist per joist. Okay, so instead of one position like this, you end up having one screw there and one screw there. And that holds it down firm. You guys will thank me if you listen to me and you won't thank me today or tomorrow, but you'll thank me in six months from now when this wood is not cracked. And if you didn't listen to me, you probably wouldn't thank me anyways. So that's, uh, that's just how that goes. So anyways, make sure you guys all come on back next time. I got all kinds of work still to do on this tiny house. I am getting there. I'm so close though. I just have to do the interior. So if I stop talking and down to work, I'll get it done one day. So you guys come on back and check that out. Appreciate everyone who's been here right from the beginning. And if you haven't done so already, you guys know what to do. And if you have, thank you, thank you, thank you. See you next time.